little protons and neutrons which are inside the nucleus. Now, let us watch a small video about this atomic mass number. We will take the example of same hydrogen atom. Now, it is the nucleus of hydrogen atom, one proton, one neutron and one electron is revolving around it. Now, inside the nucleus what are present? Protons and neutrons. Now, what is their sum? Their sum is nothing but number of protons and neutrons inside the hydrogen atom. It is the mass number. Let us observe once again inside the nucleus one proton and one neutron. The atomic mass of hydrogen is the total number of protons and neutrons in the nucleus of hydrogen atom that is A equal to P plus N number of protons plus number of neutrons. Now, who are the main scientists behind the classification of elements? Now, let us recall their names. The main scientist who classified the elements are John Wolfgang Dabanir, John Newlands, Dimitri Ivanovich Mandeliev, H. J. Mosley. These are the four scientists who are behind the evolution of new periodic table. How Dabanir classified the elements? Dabanir's law of traits. Now, Dabanir is a German chemist. He noted the group of three elements with similar chemical properties and call each group as a triad. That means, he named a group called triad in that three elements are there. Dabanir took the three elements with similar properties at a time and arranged them in ascending order of their atomic weights. That means, he arranged the in a tray, he arranged the atomic weights of elements in the ascending order. That means, from element of lower atomic weight to higher atomic weight. According to Dobanir's law of triads, the atomic weight of the middle element is the average of atomic weights of the first and third elements. It means always in Dabanir's law of triads, atomic weight of the middle element is always the average of first and third element. Now, let us see here atomic weights of three elements I have given. It is lithium whose atomic weight is 7, potassium whose atomic weight is 39. Now, it is the first element in Dabanit triad and potassium is the third element. Now, what is the average value? Average means we have to add the total atomic weights 7 plus 39 it is equal to 46 average means divided by 2 46 divided by 2 it is nothing but 23 it is nothing but the atomic number of sodium. Now, you see the atomic weight of middle element sodium is exactly same as the average atomic weights of lithium and potassium. That means, according to Dabanir's law of triad, the atomic weight of the middle element is the average of the atomic weights of the first and third elements. Now, we will go for second of Dabanir calcium whose atomic weight is 40 barium whose atomic weight is 137 and some of their atomic weights and the average value is here 87.5. Now, let us see the atomic weight of middle most element that is strontium is 87.5 that is nothing but Dabanir law of triads. The atomic weight of the middle element in a trait is the average of the first element and third element it is also matching. We will go for third trait chlorine whose atomic weight is 35.5 iodine 127. The average value of atomic weights is nothing but 81.25. Now, the element bromine whose atomic weight is 80. Now, here we are not matching this 80 with 81.25. Why? Because at the time of Dabanir, there were no 
spectrometers to calculate the atomic weight correctly. Nowadays, we are getting modern spectrometers by which we can get the exact weight. That is why this law is not applicable for some elements such as bromine. We will study it under limitations. Fourth trait sulfur whose atomic weight is 32, tellurium whose atomic weight is 125. The average atomic value of this one will be 78.5, which is almost matching the atomic weight of selenium, it is the middlemost element. Now, we will go for fifth trait manganese whose atomic weight is 55 iron whose atomic weight is 56 and the average value of atomic well weights is 55.5 and the middlemost element is chromium whose atomic weight is 52. It is also not matching, it is also we will study under limitations. Now, according to Dabonir law of triads, the atomic weight of the middle element is the average atomic weights of the first and third elements. Now, limitations of Dabonir's law of trades. All the known elements at that time could not be arranged in the form of trades. It is the major disadvantage in Dabonir's triads. At that time, there were many elements, but all we could not accommodate in triads. Now, the law is failed for very low mass or for very high mass elements. That means, this law is not applicable for the elements having higher atomic weight and also lower atomic weight. In case of fluorine, chlorine, bromine, the atomic weight of chlorine is not an arithmetic mean of atomic weights of fluorine and bromine. We have studied under limitations. Now, here bromine value is not matching with the average values of the fluorine and chlorine. Now, let us see here chlorine and iodine is not having the average value is not same as the weight of the bromine. It is we are getting 81.25, but in the case of bromine we are getting only 80. Therefore, such limitations we observed later on. Now, we will study Newland's law of octaves. Now, he is Newland, he is a British chemist. He found that when elements were arranged in the ascending order of their atomic weights, they appeared to fall in seven groups. According to Newland's, he arranged the elements into seven groups and he found that every eighth element is the repetition of the first element. That means, the eighth element is having the same chemical and physical properties of first element. Each group contained elements with similar chemical properties. According to the law of octaves, every eighth element resembles the properties of the first element. Newlands attempted to link the periodicity of chemical properties of elements with the periodicity found in the music. Now, children, have you listened in our Indian system of music? We are having the raga like Sarigama Padani. Now, there are seven notes here Sa, Ri, Ga, Ma, Pa, Da, Ni. After that, we are again repeating sa, sarigama padani sa, like that. Now, here sa, this note also resembles that every eighth element is the having the same chemical and physical properties as the first element. Now, in Indian system of music, we are having musical tone like sarigama padani sa. Now, in the West, we use the notation dorima fa solati. Here also this do will repeat after the seventh sound, again do will come. Therefore, in Newland's law of octaves, we will find with our traditional music system, the relationship is there.
in the same way every eighth element is having the same properties here in the music system also these notes are repeating. Naturally, there must be some repetition of notes. Every eighth note is similar to the first one and it is the first note of the next scale. Now, children it is the periodic table given by Newlands. Here we are finding seven groups we will see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 these are groups. Now, elements are arranged in the ascending order of their atomic weights. Now, the atomic weights in a group is also continuously increasing in order hydrogen, lithium, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen like that. Here fluorine, sodium, magnesium, aluminum, silicon, phosphorus, sulfur like this in every group we are finding that atomic weight is increasing order that is ascending order. There are seven groups in his periodic table based on the chemical properties Newland divided the elements into seven group. Now, you see first group, second group, third group, fourth group, fifth group, sixth group, seven groups like that he arranged the elements in to seven groups. Now, based on the chemical properties of elements Newland classified the elements into seven groups. He stated that every eighth element resembles the chemical properties of first elements you see hydrogen is having same properties of fluorine. Next it is having the same properties of chlorine like that it is resembling. Next group we are having the same properties for lithium and sodium and next, next same properties for carbon and silicon, same properties for nitrogen and phosphorus, same chemical properties for oxygen and sulfur like this every first element, every eighth element is having the same chemical properties as that of first element in his periodic table. According to law of octaves every eighth element resembles the properties of first element. Now, limitations of Newland's law of octaves. Now, there are some instances in his periodic table that the elements are arranged in same slot not one element he placed two elements in the slot. Now, here you see in his periodic table there is some space for the elements. Now, here hydrogen, fluorine, chlorine only one element is incorporated, but in this fourth column you observe that cobalt and nickel placed in the same column like that we will find another instance cerium and lanthanum, next instance, next rhodium and ruthenium, next barium and vanadium, next platinum and iridium. Now, all these are the instances where he placed two elements in single slot. Now, it is not applicable. Now, here you notice certain elements are totally dissimilar in their chemical properties were kept in same group. Now, you see now he arranged cobalt, nickel and platinum, palladium are having some chemical properties. Now, which are not similar equivalent to fluorine, chlorine and iodine and these are halogens. Now, cobalt, nickel, palladium, platinum, iridium are having different chemical properties. We should not incorporate like that. Elements having dissimilar chemical properties cannot be grouped together. It is the main limitation in Newland's law of octaves. Now, the Newland law of octaves is somewhat correct for higher elements like calcium. Now, elements whose weight is more than calcium it cannot be applicable correctly, but the atomic weights of lower elements can be applicable very clearly in this new lines law of octaves. Now, law of octaves is somewhat correctly applicable up to calcium that means, only elements up to here are applicable or valid for this law. 
but it is not correctly applicable to the elements having more atomic weight than calcium. Now, you see here now elements whose atomic weight is greater than calcium or this law is not suitable. Now, he did not leave any space for new elements. Suppose, if we want to add any new element in his periodic table, there was no space. Now, later on many more elements were discovered to keep them there is no space in his periodic table. Now, you observe there is no place for any new element that is why this periodic table is also failed to incorporate some later elements. Now, there are instances of two elements fitted in the same slot again we will repeat. Now, we will study the limitations of Newland's law of octaves once again. There are instances of two elements fitted into same slot. Certain elements totally dissimilar in their properties were fitted into the same group. Newland arranged cobalt, nickel, palladium, platinum and iridium which have different properties compared with halogens in the same row that is fluorine, chlorine, bromine and iodine. Now, law of octaves is somewhat correctly applicable up to calcium, but it is not correctly applicable to the elements having more atomic weight than calcium. Newland's periodic table is applicable for only 56 elements. Now, he did not give an extra space to add next generation elements. Now, that means in future any new element is discovered there is no place to keep in his periodic table. Now, we will see what we have learnt in this session. Atomic number, mass number, Dabernier law of traits, Newland's law of octaves. Now, children let us take small homework. Name the scientist who were involved in the classification of elements. Write the atomic number and atomic mass of different elements in the form of a table column. What relation about elements did Dabernier want to establish? Do you think that Newland's law of octaves is correct? Justify. Now, dear children, today we learnt about the evolution of periodic table and we have studied the Dabernier law of traits and Newland's law of octaves. Now, we will meet in the next section. Thank you.